And so we're going to go ahead and get started. And then Leah, as people join in, I'll just let them in. Uh, we also already have people watching live stream. So that's good. So people will do that with an EXP family tree. Just a reminder, you guys, this is going to remain live streamed in EXP family tree forever. So you guys can go back and watch this, tag your friends. Um, but I'll also have this out on my YouTube channel within 24 hours. So if you want to share it with anybody that's not with EXP, you can do that. Um, and today I'm very excited because I actually got connected with Leah Parker through Rich Tomasini. And we were talking about something kind of different, but we initially got reconnected because, uh, you know, Leah had some interesting ideas about how residential real estate agents might be able to really utilize the benefits of EXP commercial and the referral division in some cases uh, to maximize uh, and build their business, especially with the changes on the residential side coming because of the NAR settlement. So that's how we initially kind of started chatting um, and I thought it was really interesting. Then Leah was so kind to help me actually uh, speak to uh, a commercial agent that I was uh, talking with that might be interested in coming over to EXP. So I got to uh, hear a little bit more about Leah and her background in that conversation, which she was just so kind to offer that up for me uh, out of the goodness of her heart. I was greatly uh, appreciative of that. And so today what we're going to do is we're just going to talk a little bit about these two um, divisions, if you will, or parts of EXP Realty. So whether you're part of EXP or not, this will just be a great opportunity for you to learn. Um, and I do think it's really important for us to be looking at how we can service clients, how we can diversify the services that we do provide to our database, our sphere of influence, in my opinion, this should be what those of us that stay in this industry and stay a top producing professional real estate consultant need to do. And so I'm just excited to hear from Leah about you know her thoughts on this. She's got some great information to share. But before we do, I just wanted to introduce Leah. Leah Parker is the designated managing broker for EXP Commercial in both North and South Carolina. And so she heads up our uh, North Carolina and South Carolina branch offices. Um, and she brings years of experience in the business brokerage industry uh, and commercial real estate. And so we're very lucky to have her here at EXP Realty. And so with all of the different um, you know, experiences she had from, uh, you know, creative commercial financing and business dispositions and tenant representation and commercial real estate sales. I think that, you know, her depth of knowledge has brought a lot of value to EXP commercial. But if you're a residential agent and you don't know, EXP provides a lot of phenomenal commercial training for free to residential agents and allows our residential agents to get uh, more ingrained or more involved in that um, sector of the real estate industry. And so I'm very excited about that. If you don't know, also um, EXP uh, you know, launched their referral division, was it probably about a year ago or maybe a little bit less? So that has been growing obviously with the changes in our industry as well. So we wanted to update you guys on that. The more that you know, the more you're informed, the better you can make decisions. And so we always like to bring people like Leah into these calls to, to help us learn. So without further ado, Leah, thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate you. I'm going to let you take it away. I'll manage if there's any questions in the chat or on the live stream. Uh, and you guys, those of you that are live, just raise your hand if you have questions because we want to make this interactive as well. Yep. Uh, thank you so much for the kind words, Carrie, that uh, you guys truly have like an amazing community here, especially with the EXP family tree. Like, I don't always get an opportunity to kind of dive in and, you know, give responses or anything, but I always do see all of the, the you know, the growth that you guys have, ex I mean, experienced over the short period of time. <laughs> I feel like I've been here, even though it's been uh, yeah. a wind of four years. <laughs> so. Yeah. I too started on EXP Realty prior to EXP Commercial coming on board and, and being created. Um, and then of course, you know, being a commercial girl as my, you know, as I am and business brokerage, you know, I immediately leapt at the opportunity to join EXP Commercial. And I've been here ever since. And, um, you know, and I love first and foremost, like all of the collaboration and the opportunity that we have to bring agents together and really uh, help our clients and navigating all the nuances of real estate in general. Because we all know that, you know, real estate can be a little fickle sometimes, you know, I don't pretend that I try to do residential. I attempted my own personal transactions. I still bought... <laughs> <laughs> a residential broker to help hold my hand through the whole process. Um, they are very different. Um, they, you know, they just have, have different, different things and, yeah. uh, you know, opportunities through 
each type of transaction, and especially, and I'm so glad that you brought up the business brokerage side because, you know, I, I being a business broker for over 13 years, um, you know, I, I think that's something that is really important to let the realty agent, the residential agents know that we have all of these amazing opportunities within our community um, at, under EXP. Um, and so how can you, you know, how can you support your clients and also, you know, engage and find opportunities to help with referrals or, you know, just be kind of full service. And even with the luxury brand, working with investments on the side that we do in EXP commercial, how can we fill that gap? Um, so, but I, I strongly feel like we're really in a very strong community. And um, so thank you very much for allowing me to come here and be able to show our most recent uh, slide presentation about building your future with EXP commercial. I did drop this link into the chat. And so I don't know if we can also put this into um, our workplace or any yes. other we want. So we have these resources and tools because that's one thing that we're known for is being able to provide all of our agents with all of the resources, all of the tools, all the opportunities. And that's what really makes us exciting, um, you know, to be part of, you know, our community here. So um, thank you again. Yes. <laughs> and if there is any uh, questions that you guys might have, like feel free to chime in. Um, we will, you know, I'll do my best to at least try to address them before we hop off of here too. But if you don't have, um, uh, the answer that you're seeking, you can always find me a work chat and there's other ways that, you know, you can always ask me questions. I'm definitely here to help you and, and support you guys in building your business. So, um, so EXP commercial, right? What is it? Um, I mean, we are the sister company to EXP realty. I mean, we really hold hands throughout the whole process. Um, you know, being under EXP World Holdings. Mm -hmm. So commercial division is very different and unique. Um, we do have a different set of, you know, everything. I mean, that's why we're two different firms. So um, operationally, we are two different firms. But, you know, the reason why we brought on EXP Commercial is to really kind of harness and, and help with certain types of investment properties, um, you know, all the nuances that come with commercial real estate. If you're not familiar with commercial real estate, it's the Wild West. There are so many different avenues of client representation um, that you can have. There's so many different types of asset classes. There's sub assets um, that are also underneath all of those asset classes. It could be multifamily, which moves into, you know, modular homes or build to rent communities and I mean, uh, you know, um, student housing, I mean, it could be all sorts of different things. So it's very creative and interesting over here, um, you know, and so I'm really excited to kind of share all of this. I, I have been itching to get on this call with you, Carrie. <laughs> All right. So our recent presentation slide deck, which you guys have access to. So if you're talking to other potential commercial agents <clears throat> or if you're interested in joining EXP Commercial um, and just kind of want to understand like the differences between realty and commercial, you can have access to the slide deck and it really just goes through and shows all of the different, um, you know, uh, different benefits that we have um, with EXP Commercial. So we are not, you know, a franchise model, um, just like the realty side. So it gives you the opportunity to maintain your autonomy, just like on the realty side, you know, we are constantly evolving and growing in EXP commercial, even though, you know, commercial has really only been around for just over about three years. So we're really plugging in, um, bringing the best tools and uh, building the best community here. Um, and, you know, it, in relation to our realty side as well. So you can build your own community. Um, we do have um, the opportunity to build team structures. There are some team building efforts that are in the mix on the commercial side. Um, and so, I mean, there's there's just some different ways here on the commercial side with building your team. However, um, you know, with your commission st uh, structure, so we do have hands down the most amazing split for commissions. 80-20 um, split, you've got a $20,000 cap on the commercial side, which is pretty much unheard of um, in the commercial industry. So if you are 100% in commercial brokerage, um, I, I very strongly would say that most of the commissions are never going to meet 
this. I mean, it's going to be very difficult. I have not found that. And I, I naturally am curious. So I'm always asking questions, even with my, my other brokerages, like, what are you paying for your commission splits? So this is a very aggressive um, commission fee. So you've got a hundred percent commission for the remaining of the year after you cap at a $20,000 um, cap. So you do have different, you know, cap transaction fees, um, which total up to 5,000. The cap transaction fee is reduced um, to $75 from $250 once you meet, meet that cap. So really it's like all of your commissions are all yours after, after you meet that cap. Our standard costs for $250, um, it, there is a $250 startup fee, but for $250 a month, you get access to all of the amazing tools that we have. And we're just constantly, I mean, we're we're tech firm. So we're always looking on ways to improve and add, um, you know, different technologies because, uh, you know, technology is the catalyst to real estate anymore. I mean, it, it's what we do um, as a firm and is what the world is kind of telling us is that we're, you know, we're working in a technology world. So we want to bring you technology ever. And for $250 a month, it's your cloud brokerage fee. Um, we also have a $250 transaction review fee. And then the $100 risk management fee, which covers your ENO insurance, which also includes business brokerage. So that's one thing that I feel is very unique to, um, to our model. So uh, the largest independent brokerage on the planet. We already know that. I mean, we are hitting what ninety thousand plus agents. Carrie, is that where we're mm -hmm. we're at? Yeah, we're over ninety thousand agents worldwide. Um, we have resources globally. We're not just local. You can think bigger with your business, um, which actually I'm really excited to kind of share this next slide with you guys um, because it's I know it's not familiar in the residential world, or as I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but globally, we work with agents and, and clients all around the world. So um, somebody uh, from Portugal has actually reached out to um, our North Carolina team, and they have a company that's expanding into the U.S. market. Um, recently, you know, we've brought on two engagements from the UK that are looking for medical facilities and hospitals. So it's not just in, you know, one local market or state, but we can really be aggressive in thinking uh, on a global scale, which makes us really special um, in that way. And also, you know, working on a referral system with our, our global agents as well. So we have a huge referral network. Um, you know, it, it, you don't have to think small at, at all with uh, with commercial either, because I mean we're always in we're we're everywhere. Um, and in regard to the U.S. market, so we do have licensed portability. Portability number one is very different than reciprocity. They work in two different buckets. So if you're familiar with reciprocity, that's more of a licensing uh, term to use. But portability is a whole different animal. So. For uh, interstate co-brokering, um, license portability, we can work beyond um, beyond borders, depending on state licensing laws. So we do have some flexibility here as commercial brokers. Um, I'm kind of spoiled here in North Carolina because we do have a non-resident commercial brokers license. So we've been able to identify certain benefits and uh, for licensing law and standards uh, throughout the U.S. Um, so this actually shows, um, and you guys can see my screen, right? I'm screen yeah. sharing. Just want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> I got all excited to keep talking <laughs> about this. And then I didn't... We can see. So on here, um, so we do have turf states where you cannot enter the state at all. Um, it has to be a referral agreement. And all of us commercial brokers, we understand all the nuances about portability. Uh, physical and cooperative states, typically we work with the state managing broker to help facilitate some of these transactions on uh, in the benefit of our clients. Uh, a lot of investment properties, sometimes six of my properties that I sold last year, I never even saw the property. We just went through the underwriting process. We went through the analysis of the investment and went through cap rates, um, had some boots on the ground locally with other commercial brokers, and were able to get the, the transactions done. So that's kind of a, a little snippet of um, how we work. But some of these state laws we've been able to really, um, you know, focus on and how we can really kind of work together collaboratively across these state lines. So in eXp commercial we do have the ability to do this 
Um, and then we have a certain specific set of forms that we work with with an attorney um, within our company uh, who has also provided us the mandatory forms to make sure that our clients are taken care of and that everything is compliant and uh, in regards to our license, because that's first and foremost, we will always want to make sure that we're compliant. So we do have this benefit with uh, with EXP commercial. And so with our tech package, um, you know, like I had mentioned, we're a technology firm uh, all through and through. We're always coming up with the, the, the best technology for our, our agents. We want everybody to be able to utilize everything that they can. We've got all of these specific, um, you know, uh, I guess, um, relationships with all of these different types of commercial packages uh, build out is a huge one. It's been very well used throughout commercial real estate for many, many, many years. Um, build out is our, um, it, it's also, well, let me back up. So build out helps us create our own OMs and our flyers. So our offering memorandums, flyers, um, you can pre-make any of your listing engagements. If you are going out to, you know, uh, receive an uh, opportunity to list somebody's uh, property. You can create this whole listing package for them. And then the really cool thing about BuildOut is it actually syndicates to all of these other platforms. So I call it the mothership <laughs> of OMs because once that has been created, you can syndicate it and it syndicates out to 10 to 15 different platforms, um, which really gives the client a lot of visibility um, by just using this one part of our tech package. Um, so build out is, uh, is an amazing feature. It also syncs with Google, um, Google maps. And uh, I mean, you can really customize it and just make a, a stellar, uh, you know, offering memorandum to send out there. It also is kind of the lifeline to expcommercial.com. So when an agent goes in there and creates their build out profile, I always say build out your build out, <laughs> build out your profile, go through there, put in your bio, put in a really nice, you know, headshot, um, you know, do all of your uh, professional information in there. And that's where the realty side can actually go in and they can source um, referral opportunities through using build out. But all of this kind of works in harmony with each other. So that's one of the, one of the small, uh, one of the first or many benefits of, of our, our, of our tech tool belt. So Moody's Analytics, I love Moody's. Moody's has been around for so long. Um, they also have some other features with investment grade ratings uh, for businesses and municipalities. But what, what we have is the analytic features um, to be able to um, you know, send out emails on a regular basis. We can, um, you know, we can list property, we can find the analytics, we can find um, on uh, lease rents. I mean, we could pull property reports. Um, I just, you know, shared with some of my uh, team here in the Carolinas, I sent out a couple of samples of analytics of how, you know, flex and uh, warehouse industrial space is looking at, you know, for vacancy employment data. And these are really um, captivating to clients because we have all of this data. We know how um, how the area and, and some of the markets are working and what their um, you know what their return possibly could be and, and kind of what's moving in the market. So multifamily office, medical office, hospitality. I mean, we can get very granular with it. Um, so this is another part of our tool tool belt too. Um, re in regards to business broker CRM, so we have we have several different CRMs actually. So Buildout actually has its own internal CRM. So it just comes with a package. It's a it's a light CRM. Um, the business broker CRM is specifically made for business brokers. So with commercial real estate or in, on the commercial side, a lot of times. I, I would say, well, at least I can speak personally, 95% of my business has always been around a business, you know, an LLC and that's, you know, some type of organization um, for their investment property. So we're always constantly working with businesses, but on small to middle market businesses, it could be na your neighborhood restaurant, could be, you know, a um, pickleball club. Those seem to be very, very popular now. 
Um, but we can really focus in on small to middle market businesses. And we have relationships with IBBA, which is the International Business Broker Association. Um, so you can uh, become a business broker and you can utilize the business broker CRM spe specifically for business brokering. Uh, Realnext is also one of our amazing partners. Um, Jeff Finn is also one of our agents as well, um, out of the uh, out on the West Coast <laughs> in California. Um, but this is also a really strong tool for CRM. Um, you know, just data and client management. Um, they've got all sorts of functionalities in there, so you can elect to you know do either you know, be part of the business broker CRM or real next or build out. I mean, you've got all these amazing options, right? You've got all these tools. Yardy Matrix, um, even for, you know, a lot of property managers, they utilize Yardy um, to manage some of their property management um, information and data. So we've got amazing discounts, like huge, severe discounts with Yardy Matrix. Um, so we have all of these different, uh, you know, opportunities for people to use, um, and it's, and it's not even just that, I mean, we've got also Skyslope. I mean, we've got relationships with, you know, other outside platforms at discounts. Um, it just really is kind of like, I mean, sky's the limit when it comes to your, your, uh, toolbox. So also going into kind of learning some of this, uh, information too, and I'm sorry, like my screen moved on me for some reason. Hold on real quick. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. So education. Okay. Number one, we all have to be educated. Uh, the one thing I can say about commercial real estate is you're, you're always going to be, and I would expect this too, on the residential side, there, there is never a transaction that is the same. <laughs> Everything has its own nuances and, you know, personality. Um, and you never kind of know what's going to come up. So we always want to make sure that our agents have the best support and also the most up-to-date education uh, on any type of, you know, transaction facilitating, you know, a lease negotiation or, you know, potential purchase of a brownfield uh, piece of, you know, piece of land. I mean, there's just so many different things. So the thing that I so much, uh, you know, appreciate about EXP Commercial is that we have like over 80 hours of education every week inside EXP Commercial. Um, which is absolutely outstanding. I mean, you could definitely plug in and be very busy <laughs> every week trying to learn every single, um, you know, detail about uh, about commercial real estate. But EXP Commercial Academy, we have this for our agents. Um, it is the foundational, uh, you know, process of learning all of the benefits of uh, commercial, all of the nuances with the assets, um, and their subcategories, types of representation, understanding and learning your market, how to nurture your market. Um, and it's offered, it's two weeks. So it's three hours um, every day. Uh, it starts, you know, at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 1 p.m., but Monday through Friday for the first two weeks of each month. Um, and then also, if any of our, you know, agents want a refresher, then they can kind of come in and they can, you know, retake the academy if they feel like they need a refresher um, or just want to kind of dive in. And a lot of our senior advisors also pop in there just to kind of say hi and see who all is going through the academy. Uh, we also have the mentorship program. So our mentorship program, I don't want to say anything specific because we are making improvements as we always are in, in adjustments uh, with our mentorship program. But we do like to uh, pair our junior agents. If you haven't facilitated uh, three commercial transactions in the last, I think it's 12 months, maybe 24 months, um, then you will be paired up with a senior advisor. So some of our senior advisors, um, I mean, they've been doing this for 40 years plus. I mean, you've got some um, some people out there to really help coach and navigate through negotiations, keep you accountable, keep you moving, um, and really also help assist you through maybe identifying what type of asset class you want to specialize in because the majority of commercial real estate is really specialization. Um, there's so many different facets of 
commercial real estate, it's really hard to be a specialist in every single category. Um, so we do try to pair you up with somebody that has the same interests that you do and experience to really help get you over the next several transactions um, so that you can graduate through the mentorship program. But you will not be left alone. We want to pair you up with the right people to really help you build your business and grow. Um, the product specialty committees, this is also part of our commercial calendar. We have everything from corporate asset management to uh, triple net lease investments to hospitality to churches and, you know, worship halls. I mean, it's like sky's the limit with all of our committees. Um, all of our committees have been uh, generously, you know, uh, created by some of our senior advisors throughout the entire U.S., um, industrial committees. I mean, it, you can just pop on Zoom. It's a really wonderful way to connect with people all across the U.S. Um, I've met people in, you know, California and, you know, Wisconsin, and they're sending referrals or, you know, they're asking who to send a referral to. And I mean, it's just, a, it, it's a great way to, you know, build more business and get to know and engage with some of the other commercial brokers out there. Also, broker support. Here I am. Um, I am one of the uh, one of the CDMBs, so you always have access and work chat, work chat, emails. I mean, uh, phone calls. Like we have broker hours as well, so we are always located in exp world. And I don't know, Carrie, if you've shown um, exp world yet, but. Yes. We just updated that. So it's not a download and it's not a drain to your hard drive anymore. You can just log in. You can copy the URL. You can share it with people that are looking to possibly join the eXp community. Bring them in, show them around our world. But our eXp commercial brokers are in the commercial main lobby, um, 12 hours a day, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. So you'll always have somebody to be able to connect with and ask questions. Um, and if you're thinking about migrating or bringing somebody on, uh, you pull a ticket. It's just that quick. So, um, so it's a pretty amazing tool. Um, healthcare, of course, you know, we have options for healthcare, um, just like the realty side. Um, you know, we are one large, uh, you know, company that wants to be able to help you with your out of pocket expenses and help with co pays and kind of, you know, be able to provide you resources for healthcare and other benefits. Um, so that's uh, another one of the lovely things about eXp as a whole, <laughs> not just on the commercial side. Um, um, agent equity commission program, if you would like, you can also enroll into this benefit and receive stock at a 5% discount. Um, I know a lot of our agents here, they have opted into this program. And so, you know, we have ownership of our company and we're constantly taking, and, and it's kind of sight unseen for me. Every time I close a transaction, I just know that it comes out, it gets to buy equity, I get it at a discount. Um, and I think that's really an amazing thing to have. So, <laughs> um, Icon Award, we did reinter, uh, reintroduce this at the beginning of last year so that on the commercial side, uh, we actually have the Icon program. So I know at one point we didn't really have that and we, you know, we really wanted to benefit our, our agents in the best way possible. So top agents, you can receive up to $20,000 $20,000 in stock upon the achievement of certain production and cultural goals within their anniversary year. So that $20,000 cap that you have in EXP commercial, which could also be, you know, completed in a, a couple of transactions. Once you get to that icon award, you get all, all of that back and more. So we have all of those different benefits here at, um, on the commercial side as well. So I'm really um, excited that they've uh, brought this in. And we actually had a very good friend of mine out of Florida. He was our top um, icon agent for business brokerage, and he was the, the first one. So we do have some amazing business brokers as well um, going through icon, so which is exciting. Yeah. Uh, rev share. I, I'm sure. Do you want me to go over any of the rev share or? <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, I'm assuming it's the same inside of the commercial space as residential. Yeah, I was going to say it's pretty much the same thing as um, on the residential side. You know, you've got your agent company split, you've got your EXP um, company split, and then 
uh, your tier one, your tier two, your tier three, if you're going out and you're, you know, building your revenue share and, um, you know, bringing on new agents to EXP, uh, the percentage of revenue is pretty much the same as residential and commercial. Um, and so, I mean, we have, we have all of this <laughs> as well. Yes. Um, and I know that the revenue share 2.0, so quite honestly, yeah. this is a brand new slide for me. Um, so yeah. I don't know if you want to maybe engage a little bit more on the revenue share yeah. 2.0, Carrie. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is, is that if you are a team leader, if you're a broker owner, if you know a commercial broker owner, I was talking to one recently, um, you know, they have to grow their business in order to grow their revenue as a broker or as a team leader um, and doing it inside of the EXP space allows them to plug into everything that Leah is talking about on the commercial side, on the business brokerage side, obviously on the residential side, whatever that might be for them, if they, if their agents can conduct both, they can plug into the, the platform of EXP and now take advantage of, um, a larger opportunity for not only themselves, but more importantly, their own agents to tap into revenue share. So a couple of the key changes, one is if you bring your team or your brokerage over to EXP in the first year, you're going to get paid at least $4,000 on every capping agent that comes over. So let's say you own a commercial brokerage and you have 10 agents that are out there conducting a decent amount of business. That's $40,000 that EXP is going to pay you in revenue share that first year to bring your team over. There's a lot of teams that don't make $40,000 in profit a year. <clears throat> and I know this because I do a lot of uh, financial analysis. So that's a great benefit for those leaders that might bring groups of people over initially or that are influential and really want to grow their organization inside EXP. Um, but the second change was that it didn't uh, it didn't uh, require us to unlock levels to tap into the first uh, the first uh, four tiers. And so what's really big about that is that or the first three tiers rather. What's really big about that is that you don't have to be a big recruiter in order to really capitalize on your relationships. Let's say that you're an average, you know, just an agent out there doing things. You don't want to be a recruiter. You don't want to have to spend any time on this, but you have a friend who does quite a bit of business that has a big team and they end up coming over to EXP because of your relationship and friendship and they bring 10 or 15 agents. In the past, you would not capitalize on taking any of that revenue share income because you weren't growing your front line. And now it doesn't matter. All of those people that come over with your friend now are in your second level. You instantly get paid on all of those. So you're going to be able to, as an individual agent who doesn't see themselves as a leader or a recruiter, take advantage of income all the way down three levels without having to recruit anybody else besides your first person, that one person you might bring to this company. So to me, that's exciting because it opens up revenue share earnings to everyone at eXp. It doesn't matter how influential you are, if you're new to the business, if you're a leader or not, you actually can capitalize on being an agent owner and you could easily be making $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 a month um, or more, depending upon your relationships, without having to go through this whole process of spending time recruiting so many people to your front level, which I think was a barrier for a lot of the average agents out there. So now I see revenue share is more accessible to everyone. Yep, absolutely. And you can have said it, any better. And, you know, you don't have to be in one vertical either. It doesn't all have to be in EXP commercial or EXP right. realty. I mean, we are, uh, we are the same community, you know, so uh, a lot of times we've seen teams where, uh, especially on the real, on the residential realty side, mm -hmm. where they have a couple of dedicated commercial brokers mm -hmm. as well that are facilitating the commercial transactions. And so as a team owner, you know, you do have options here to help build some additional revenue and you're not really streamlined and, and kind of pigeonholed into only one vertical. So yeah. you have options here. Yeah. Which, which is great. So, and you could have just said that mm -hmm. any quicker, <laughs> like I could have said it in, in that uh, mm -hmm. quick of time. So thank you very much for yeah. sharing. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's a wonderful thing about what we do here too, is like, I mean, we have all these different options to really collaborate and be able to pivot here because there have been mm -hmm. some residential teams that were like, Hey, you know, we need some dedicated commercial brokers to really join our team because now we're engaging with people that have investment properties. They're right. looking at other States and how can we bring 
some of these commercial brokers in to really facilitate some of these transactions on on the and the benefit of of the client right. number one, and then also um, you know with the team. So yeah. this is a it, you know so I think that this is a a very powerful slide and um, you know and, and just a powerful business that we have here because we we definitely do have. Um, the capabilities and the functionality to really kind of pivot and be able to help our, our agents and our team owners. So, That's right. all right. So we are all over the place in social media. We try to be, of course, in the commercial world, we really try, well, I really try to focus more on LinkedIn. Um, you'll see a lot of our information on LinkedIn. You'll be able to connect with all of our commercial brokers throughout the U S they're all on LinkedIn. They're all sharing their deals. They're all, you know, posting things they are engaging with commercial real estate and, you know, how it's changing um, our local communities and, you know, state economic development. I mean, we're constantly engaging here. So um, that's the end of my slide. If you need a, a link to the slide so that when you go out and you talk to other brokers as well, and they're, in, you know, they're inquiring about commercial real estate, this is just kind of a quick and easy uh, run to, but if it's okay, I just want to share real quick, like what our commercial calendar yeah. looks like. This is our commercial calendar. We don't have a bunch on Monday um, of the of this month, but you can see all of the training and all of the opportunities to really plug in um, on the commercial side. And you know, we're we're constantly going through, uh, you know, like I said, the the different committees, the different educational moments. I mean, we've got our national meetings. Um, so we do have a lot of information in here, <laughs> yeah. just to let you know. And then one other thing, joining roadmap. So I want to be very clear on this because, um, it, you know, being the commercial broker, you know, I get to see a couple of things that are going through the onboarding process. And so I want you guys to be very successful when you're bringing on, uh, somebody with the realty or the commercial or the referral division. So we do have two different join apps. Even though it says in the website, um, you know, EXP Realty, if on the actual web page, it, it's got to say EXP Commercial or Referral Division. So make right. sure that you are guiding your um, your your people to the right and correct join app. Um, so they'll go through this whole entire process. Um, we do like to actually have a conversation with, um, you know, with our potential candidates for commercial to make sure that this is something that they really want to do 100 mm -hmm. percent. Um, commercial real estate is very different, like I said, from, you know, probably anything else, just because we have so many different opportunities and options out there. Mm -hmm. um, so we really want to make sure that everybody is successful and having these conversations um, and being transparent is only going to help guide you to success. And, you know, the the thing that I didn't really understand about commercial when I first got into it are um, just all the different options. I thought, you know, being in the beauty industry for 23 years, I was going to be retail tenant rep. I'm selling salons and I'm building salons and I'm doing all these things with salons. And guess what I do now? Manufacturing and industrial. And yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you just really never know what's going to, you know, uh, be on your journey. And um, so anyways, like going through these conversations and pairing up with a senior advisor that has a lot of experience and helping guide you because you just you just never know um, what you're going to experience. But the commercial uh, and referral joint app is um, is the best way to go for the commercial brokers. So that's awesome. That's fantastic. Let's see if there's any questions. Um, so real quick question. We have a lot of, probably a lot of agents joining that are also, or watching specifically an EXP family tree that are residential agents. They may have friends in the business that are commercial. So this is a huge opportunity for them to learn, to be able to go talk to their commercial friends about it. I think there's phenomenal synergy when residential agents partner with commercial agents, not only from um, referral sources back and forth and just creating a great partnership with each other's spheres of influence um, and be able to get referral fees back and forth, but also within the EXP infrastructure to be able to say, hey, this person is part of my network inside EXP, and I want to refer them to you to help you with your commercial needs, you know, uh, sphere of influence. I'm here to help you with your residential. And now you all of a sudden 
have this really great uh, opportunity to uh, work together, get referral fees, but also have revenue share as a secondary piece of that income that doesn't come from the agents, it comes from the company honoring you guys for working together. So hopefully you take this information and you uh, look at the current relationships that you have and how do you monetize those relationships and come together and help each other in the transactions, but also in the revenue share side of things. And of course, that also equates on the stock giftings as well when you bring people to the company and so forth. On the other side, as a residential agent who has a great sphere, I think being in a company that allows you to learn about commercial real estate and to be able to be part of some commercial real estate transactions to get great commercial training and access to the training, as well as the business brokerage side of things, even if it's not you doing the business brokerage side of things, but partnering with somebody and having those experts and referral fee opportunities is just huge. When we're looking at possibly the changes in residential on uh, the residential side of things, and maybe we do see our commissions change a little bit, finding ways to maximize your relationships, your sphere of influence, and being able to be in different sectors of this business, I think is really critical, even if you're doing it um, through referrals, uh, or you're learning a new skill, and you're opening up your services into a larger mass of people. I think it's really, really important. And so if you're not engaging in the commercial workplace groups, if you aren't following them on LinkedIn, if you aren't going and following them on social, it's critical. Um, and so as we end, Leah, is there anything that you would um, share that you've seen residential agents doing that you think would be something important for them to, to think about as you leave the call today or just uh, something that you might point them in the right direction if they are looking to somehow get involved more on the commercial side of real estate, whether it be through a partnership and referrals or whether it be just opening up their knowledge base themselves? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think that's a great question. And so um, number one, you know, because we are two different firms, all of the states kind of interact a little bit yeah. differently. So um, I, I can only speak only here for the Carolinas. I can't speak for anybody yeah. else um, unless, you know, we talk with the state managing broker, which I always refer everybody, reach out to your state managing broker. Um, yeah. We're there to help you and guide you. So um, with a lot of our like North Carolina and, you know, South Carolina agents, a lot of times they'll pair up with a realty agent um, if they have the resources and, and the ability to be able to facilitate a commercial transaction. It really is just dependent on the level of skill and knowledge um, and ability like marketability as well. You know, if you're engaging in a listing contract. Um, so we always want to keep the client's best interests in mind. We always want to learn. And that's the whole you know, part of doing this. But we also have all the ability to kind of teach you, uh, you know, within e EXP. And that was a slide that's missing from here that I was looking for. And I don't know if it accidentally erased itself or what happened, but we do have an educational um, opportunity for commercial real estate that is taught by Mike Lipsy. It is uh, the Lipsy's uh, Steps to Success uh, 10.0 program. It is only for EXP commercial and EXP realty agents. So you have to be an EXP licensee in order to uh, be awarded the benefit of $249 for a $6,000 training. Mm -hmm. So we've got it at a major discount. It takes um, it took me hours to go through it. So I also went through it because I wanted to see what the agents were experiencing and what they were learning as well. Um, so Mike Lipsy is highly, um, you know, is in high regard in the commercial space. I mean, he's been doing this for many, many years. He's been educating all over the world. Um, so his system is actually available to the realty side as well for $249. So you can take that over the course of a year, kind of peel it back one later at a time and also see if this is something that you that makes you excited and makes you want to kind of move into commercial. Um, so between the commercial and realty agents, depending on your state and what your your um, broker in charge allows um, as far as, you know, client representation, because all the states work differently. So you always got to refer to your BIC. Um, a lot of realty and commercial brokers will facilitate a co-brokering transaction where they will both be representing a client. So we've got different things that we can do um, here, but in the referral you know, section, I mean, we've got so many brokers all throughout the whole entire U.S. Um, specializing and facilitating I mean, hospitality and, you know, uh, you know, the huge, enormous developments with mixed use and golf courses and 
um, you know, so it, we have the referral opportunities here um, as well. So mm -hmm. there's just some flexibility. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just think getting involved, you guys, I would just encourage you to get involved, to learn, um, to get into some of the groups, to get into some of the trainings, find ways for referrals, find ways to uncover opportunities, even if you don't end up working them as um, the agent, because you're not equipped or don't feel comfortable, don't want to dabble on the commercial sales side, you can insert yourself, you can become involved, you can learn, you can find uh, resident, I'm sorry, commercial agents that would work with you on these things. And there's just a lot of opportunity. As mentioned, Leah shared that there is the commercial uh, brokers in every state. And there is um, uh, the the kind of the, I don't know what we call it. Did you call it like a broker or a, the portability, which is huge because we can use our relationships Cross state lines. Uh, we all have relationships with people all over the place. And I believe up until now, if we stay in a small brokerage, we don't have the opportunity to maximize those things like we do in a, a massive global brokerage like EXP Realty. That's one brokerage, um, you know, with multiple brokers in each state that allow that portability. So I think there's so many yeah. ways you can maximize and grow your business if you tap into your sphere and you understand truly what these opportunities are. So I think the first step is just learning like we learned from Leah today, which we're really grateful for, but also getting in these groups, getting in these rooms and just kind of and, and these trainings and just um, opening your your uh, eyes and ears to those opportunities uh, that are there for you. And reach out to Leah on Workplace, reach out to your state broker um, for commercial and, and pick their brain a little bit if this is something of interest to you as well. I'd highly encourage you guys to just know this is available to you and you should take advantage of it. Yep. And and so just one um one disclosure my understanding is is yeah. that only EXP commercial can do portability. So it is Correct. not available not residential. residential. Correct. So, you, so um if you need resources like we're all in there go into exp.world ask the questions go into the commercial main lobby we are all there to help you know help guide you. I mean we send referrals out to all over the place. A lot of times I'm looking at workplace and I'll see opportunities for our agents. I'm like, hey, you know, this uh, this, you know, agent is in the Charleston market or is in Greenville or you need to reach out to this person in Miami or, you know, so we're also, you know, looking for opportunities to help you guys grow and have the opportunity to refer business as well because um, taking care of the clients first and foremost. But yeah, I mean, sky's the limit here. Um, that's the one thing that I love about EXP and um, I, and I'm sorry, I know that we're kind of running out of time, but I do want to leave you yeah. guys with this nugget with the referral division. I get questions all the time. Like people didn't even know that we have the referral division. Yeah. Yes. We have the referral division and guess what? For 50 bucks a month, they can keep their, their license active with EXP. They can, there's people that I see in my referral division that that's all they do is they are just facilitating referrals constantly yeah. at 10 or 15 referrals at a time. And, um, you know, they're really engaging with people and they can refer anybody like wherever throughout the whole U.S. I mean, it's like sky's the limit for the referral division too. And they get access to um, workplace work chat and um, also they get their own sky soap file. So things do kind of change if they decide to um, be part of the referral community. But Jennifer Rose is amazing. She's out of uh, Arizona and she's also facilitating, you know, some of the educational moments for a referral division so that they can build their business. So if you need more information there, please, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to, to help you with that as well. Awesome. Yep. Perfect. I love that. Yeah. I, I'm surprised at how many people don't know that we don't have that, that we have that already. So or business you, brokerage. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Or business brokerage. We have business brokerage. We have commercial real estate. We have a referral division. Of course we have residential, you guys, we were in all the sectors. So if you have been considering that for yourself in any of these ways, just reach out to me on workplace, reach out to Leah. If uh, it happens to be on the commercial or on the business, uh, business brokerage or the referral division, she can point you in the right direction. Um, we want you to be engaged and to have knowledge in all of these things. If you're part of EXP, if you're not part of EXP and you're watching us on YouTube or you're watching us in some other capacity and you're curious about these things, just reach out to me. I'd be happy to share a little bit more and get you in touch with the right person. If your uh, brokerage doesn't have these things, I think that these are things that we're all going to need to tap into. 
to continue to be relevant and to be connected and to serve a larger group of people inside of the real estate world as our industry changes. And that's one of the great benefits of being with a global, large, fast-growing company like EXP. And uh, we'd love to share that with you as well. Thanks so much, Leah, for being here. We really, really appreciate you. you. Thanks for those of you that joined us live. We have a lot of people watching live stream. So thanks again. Remember, this is going to remain live streamed in EXP Family Tree. So you can go ahead and watch it again if you want to or share it with somebody else. And it will be up on my YouTube channel shortly. Just Google my name in uh, YouTube and you'll find it. Thanks, Leah, for everything. Appreciate you. Thanks, Thank everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Nice to meet everybody. Bye. Bye.